All right, what up, fam bam? Welcome back to another episode of Cars and Adventures. So today, we're gonna go over one year ownership. Answer any questions that I feel you might have as a person who's interested in the truck or how well it kept up during the time I've had it for one year. So technically, I had the truck for one year and one month, but I fractured my foot, so I had to wait for that to heal. So now I'm barely doing the video. Finally getting back to it, um, but Overall, the truck has been good, man. Uh, Toyota's care has been good. I've had no issues with the truck. There's a few things here and there, um, but as of right now, um, the truck has held up, has done its job. I've took it on numerous trips, San Diego back, took it to Vegas already, a um, couple long trips, and it's, it's held up. It did a, did a good job. Um, now, before I get into my truck, I've seen other trucks so far where People broke their back window from loading the truck or they say wiping it down or they go through a, a mobile car wash and the brakes now personally this window is thick so you got to really really hit it hard in order for it to break I don't know how accurate that is that they say they barely wipe it and it breaks my windows thick so I don't have that issue um, as well as the the panoramic roof um, same thing people said it just shatters out of nowhere I don't know how true that is um even when i wipe mines i had no issues i've had mines and th these are guys that had their trucks for a couple months or 2023 models so i don't know if there's a difference between 2023 models and 2022 models where the glass is different um but as far as i know i haven't seen any 2022 models with a shattered panoramic roof um and like i said they're pretty thick um as far as uh recalls i had two recalls um one was for the retightening of the um the rear axle nuts or something like that that they could come loose so they had to retighten those to a different uh um pound or whatever and then um uh there was a recall on the uh the safety system they had to recalibrate it or something those are only two recalls now the 2023s they do have an extra recall and it has something to do with the the tanu covers or the bed covers for the truck apparently they can fly off on the freeway 2022 models didn't come with them so that's something i didn't have to worry about um but other than that uh as far as the outside goes that's as much as i know oh and the uh anybody that has like the mirror caps and stuff like that from factory uh i heard stories about those flying off mines are good um as far as anything else i've heard that's pretty much it now personally me I like to point out a couple things on mines that that's happening so i don't know how well you can see that on camera uh let me see if i can get it for you guys uh it's not gonna show up maybe well anyways on this uh this flare right here uh, from like a certain angle you can see the uh, where it's like bolted where it has like the the studs to go into the truck I don't know if it's from the Sun or what like even the back one right here. Maybe these ones will pop up uh, It's kind of hard to get them But anyways on the the back of um those flares there's there's like studs that are they, they pop into you know the actual uh metal or aluminum of the truck or the fenders anyways these are starting to show exactly where those uh those screws or those studs are at now like i said i think that they're warping just enough where you can see like it looked like the best way i can explain it if someone took like a like a door dent and but from the inside it's poking out this way so it has like a little bit of pokes that are poking out on and it's not on just these these fenders it's on all the fenders on all the flares and then on the passenger side it has them as well but they're not as noticeable so that's, that's why i'm thinking is more to do with the the sun because of where i park my truck at um the sun beats on one side more than the other so i think the sun has something to do with warping those those flares and they're showing where those screws are at um as far as the outside that's my only issue um there's really nothing else but on the inside 
So right here, the notorious, right here, you can see it. So that's starting to fracture or crack or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, this is, happens to all the models of the new gen Tundras. Um, and eventually it's going to turn into a hole right there where it's just going to, that piece of the plastic trim is going to fall off. Now, this is where I am pretty upset and I think it is bullshit excuse my language but when i did take that to toyota and i pointed it out because i'm hearing stories about guys waiting six months for their plastic trim you know waiting months at a time i didn't want to wait that long so i went and told them like hey look mine is cracking and i was going to see if you guys can order mine now so when it does eventually fa uh fail or fail um you guys will have mine ordered already and we can just put it on um the the main tech from that day he looked at it and said that's the scratch that's not a that's not a crack i said no that's a crack you know and i showed him pictures of all the other ones that are online and people posting on the uh the forums and posting on the uh the group pages and facebook where they started off just like this and it broke and cracked into one big uh hole oh wow there's nothing we can do until it actually happens and i said you know i told him well it is happening it's happening now it's a crack well, we can't do it until it actually, you know, cracks and it breaks. So I told him, so when that happens, like I'm going to have to wait six, up to six months or so. Uh, I don't know. Everything's on back order. Well, that's the only thing I, I do feel is bullshit. You know, Toyota should have these up to date and they should have a lot of these for when this, when it is happening, you know. And the fact that I can't have mine on order ready until it breaks, I do feel like that is bullshit. But everything else has been good um and as far as the 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 a pillars right here um you do hear a lot of wind noise on the freeways uh everybody has that same complaint um but as far as the truck overall you know I, i'm hearing guys talk about their trim is you know loose a lot of it's like cracking and and creaking mine's is fine i have no issues with anything at all on my truck um you know like i said other than the wind noise and then uh oh and just recently too, uh, when I was at a, at a car wash, um, I was getting the the high pressure jet one. It's not it's not the one where it has the brushes. It's just it's just like a foam cannon, and then it sprays your truck or your or your vehicle. Well, when my back when it reached my back passenger window, um, the window opened on its own. So I don't know what the heck that was about, but that's happened to me twice already, where the water will hit the back window and it will just open up. Um, so that's something that I'm going to have to address on my next uh, 15,000 mile service. Right now I'm at 10,700 miles. I've had it for over a year and that's all many miles I put on it. You know, the, it's not a lot at all. I barely drive the truck. It is my daily. I go to work, come back. That's it. I don't really do too much with the truck, you know, and we just got my girl um, a new A6. Not, not a new one, but it's a 2021, I believe. But we're gonna introduce her and that car to the channel pretty soon, guys. So, um, you know, wait for that video. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna show her uh, how to change her brakes and stuff. I just showed her how to drive a uh, stick shift. She didn't wanna be on video for that. She was camera shy, but I understand. So um, I'm gonna show her how to uh, change her brakes. So you guys look out for that video. Um, other than that, no complaints. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that has happened to me. Um, oh when i do close the door sometimes my uh my re, uh retracting uh floorboard right there uh the step it doesn't go up sometimes you know so uh well it didn't but i had toyota um recalibrate that for me and now that's perfectly fine other than that i've never had no issues um other things i've seen other guys having issues with is their screens uh turning all black and not coming on um mine works perfectly fine and i seen just recently uh, on the 2023 models where guys are starting their vehicles and a thing pops up and tells them to input the code um you know to turn on their screen i never had that i never seen that but yeah i mean, I mean it seems like 2023 models have more issues than the 2022 models do so far as far as the glass shattering on top the the screens going black or asking you to enter a code um and the the bed cover so uh, if you're interested in, in a new tundra I, I would suggest looking for a 2022 because as of right now 2023s have a lot more issues um as far as what i'm seeing um it seems like the 2022s the first year models are better than the next year models so which is 
which is saying something because usually the first the first year models are supposed to be the crappy ones you know but my truck has been great it's been awesome never left me stranded um nothing's broken down nothing fell off you know i'm hearing how guys trim pieces are coming off i had none of those issues whatsoever and i even heard stories where guys put their truck in sport mode and they gun it and their turbos go or their heads go and i'm like dude i run mines in as i daily drive it in sport mode every single day you know i, I get to work you know I, I step on the gas on the freeway at least once a day you know i bring it up to speed nothing ever happens for me and I'm sorry if I'm sweating, but it's hot right here in California right now. Right now it's humid. Look at the sky. It is humid right now. It even started drizzling a little bit. And I just cleaned my truck. Like it's nasty weather. But other than that, guys, I hope I answered your question as far as a one-year ownership with the vehicle. I know you guys are probably expecting more, but it's really not that much. Um, I just wanted to go over it with you real quick um, and, and tell you guys my experiences as well as experiences of other people that are having. And... Um, Hopefully that'll help you decide what year model you want, the 2022 or the 2023. Um, you know, a lot of guys are going out to the 2023s because they do come with a bed cover. But I mean, to me, it just seems like they have more issues than the 2022 model. So, and bed covers ain't that much. They're like 500 bucks. So um, I wouldn't really risk getting a 2023 model when I can just buy a bed cover for 500 bucks. Um, and I think that's about it, guys. I know you guys seen the the car trailer in the back right there i have something that i'm picking up tomorrow which is near and dear to my heart and is on my added to the channel um another project that i've had in a shipping contour, uh, container storage for a while so um you guys be on the lookout for that i feel like that's going to be an awesome build uh with the truck as far as the tundra i only got a few more things i want to do to it not a whole lot so um as you guys can tell the truck has been clean man it's been real good whenever i take it on trips i always wash my undercarriage i clean everything on this truck i'm trying to keep it a1 so that way you know if the day comes where i decide to sell it it looks brand new you know i just got back from a san diego trip yesterday so as far as the undercarriage i gotta go in my garage take out my uh, pressure washer and i gotta clean my undercarriage but stay tuned for uh either the next video um i will introduce my new project or it might be the next video after my girl's uh um break excuse me after my girl's break job um and that's pretty much it when it comes to the new tundra guys so i hope i answered your guys's questions i hope whatever worries you guys had in the back of your head i hope that's good as far as the flender the the flender <laughs> as far as the fender flares go um i'm gonna end up putting uh the ones from rough country over but i'm gonna put the uh the protective sheet um over first and then i'm gonna put those i heard those are taking off people's paint so i'm gonna do that um i got another video coming up on the tundra about some things that some companies haven't done yet which uh is kind of mind-blowing to me and, and kind of annoying because there's a lot of things that i'm waiting on doing to the truck that i cannot do until these companies come out with these products so i'll be coming out that video pretty soon um other than that as far as the tundra goes guys that's it and i'd like to give a huge shout out to last fit auto lighting um i'll leave their link and as well as their uh the, the discount codes in the description below um for the mats guys these are probably the best mats you're gonna get probably the best fitting mats and they cover a lot of room yeah there's a complaint that they don't go too far up on the the uh the right foot but you know what as for the price you you really can't beat these for the price and with my discount code you guys get 20 percent off of that you guys want some switchback leds use my discount code stormbreaker if you guys want a emergency jump starter pack you guys discount code right now stormbreaker 100 gets you 100 dollars off of that product i'll put all that in the link below thank you last for auto lighting for sponsoring today's video and thank you guys for watching my channel i hope i answered your guys questions any other questions or concerns you guys have please drop them in the comment i'll answer all of them till next time guys deuces